Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm doing your bonus love reads. This reading is going to be for the sign of um, Capricorn. So let's see, Capricorns, um, do they love you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you want to know about, do they love you? This reading is definitely going to help you find the answer to that. They love you or not. Um, we will take message cards from the person as well. We will include oracle cards, but no charms will be added. So stay tuned. And now while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So Capricorns, let's find out. Do they love you? Do they love you? Knight of Wands, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles. They do have a lot of emotions for you, but they hide. It can be you as well. It can be the reverse energies as well for some of you. But I feel like you know there is there is love. Uh, there is more of a bond than love. I feel like you know it, it is something that um, they know you so well. There is a lot of uh, unsaid emotions. I feel like you know it's. They do love you, but it's never expressed openly is what I'm picking up. Um, it has always been like, you know, fun, happy, um, you know, something that you enjoy. You know, it's, it's more of that energy. But there is a lot to what they basically uh, express, you know, what they basically kind of uh, let you know. There, There's a lot more than what they do, you know, let you know, basically. So I feel like, you know, they do have... Um, attachment with you as well but i feel like you know whoever it is that you are dealing with seems like you know um maybe the connection cannot go how you want it to go there are some restrictions in this situation in this connection is what i'm picking up um for some of you maybe you are asking about an ex and maybe you are in no communication with that per one person right now so i do see that there are some restrictions it's more of a uh good times that you have spent with each other and they are like you know there there are these things uh, these things that come in mind when you know you think of uh, the thought that we had great you know connection great chemistry we had a bond that we shared and everything used to be perfect so i feel like it is more of the past energy than than the current energy i don't see that uh, i don't say that they they don't have love now but yes they do miss the bond i feel like uh, but yes if if we talk if we talk about like you know do they love you, uh, I feel like you know, it's more of um, they do miss you than love you energy is what I'm picking up, but I do see that there is a lot of uh, blocks in the situation and that's the reason why they hold themselves back. That's the reason why they don't open up much about the feelings that they have for you. So I feel like um, if you are no communication with the person that you are asking about, you will be having a communication coming in very strong with this person. But again, um, they might not, um, For some of you, maybe you are also one of those uh, people who, uh, you know, if if uh, if uh, it's it's more like you know your energy too is like you you hold your emotions back as well. Like you know, even if this person comes in and if they say that I love you and I want reconciliation or I want to have a new beginning with the, uh, with you, you are also not gonna share your emotions with this person. It's more like you know you you are gonna feel like you know even though you also miss this person, but then when you come together, when you start communicating. You will not give in to the connection readily. You will have your own, uh, you know, ego or, wh or whatever you may call it. But there is not going to be, you know, a happy energy around it. Like, okay, fine, let's go ahead. Let's do it. There will be some sort of, uh, you know, even though you will be happy deep within, but then there, there will be like, you know, a face that you're going to put up uh, for this person, which is not going to let this connection flourish is what I'm picking up. You will have your blocks uh, intact there. You would not give in to connection readily. So I feel like, you know, there is a more of a bond than love. There is more of a connection than love. There is more of a missing energy than, you know, feeling love for the other person. It's more of a, I think of you, I miss you kind of energy than love. I feel like, you know, there, there could be like, a, um, 
none of you is ready to basically open up about the emotions that you have. I feel like it's more of the miss you energy than love. So let's see the oracle now. Um, grief. I don't know if you are uh, if you are also unhappy with what happened or not, but um, maybe you 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 can't forget what you uh, went through with this person. There's a lot of pain that uh, needs to be healed. Um, me, maybe it's your person's energy, but I feel like you know there is there are many blocks. There are many blocks uh, which needs to you know um you really need to release those mental physical emotional blocks before you could come together because i feel like you know otherwise nothing will change in this connection uh you won't let this person come closer to you emotionally you would not open up to let this person in your life proper way uh and uh, if the energies are reversed maybe you know um your person needs to heal as well Financial differences that we have will be an issue. My family won't approve. So there could be some financial differences or cultural differences or religious differences as well in this connection. Even though you had a good time together, but or you have a good time together, but there are so many mental blocks. There are so many physical blocks. There are so many of the blocks that, uh, you know, it, it doesn't move forward. Um, so it seems like, you know, the blocks are basically blocking this connection more than anything else. I don't see the love there, to be very honest. It's more of a um, miss your energy. If and when I am ready to commit, you are and you will always be my first choice. So there is this um, energy around um, maybe having a future, but then I don't see any love there. It's more of a wishful thought that maybe we can end up, you know, together. But if, if and only if that could happen. What the difference is, uh, religious, family issues, mental uh, differences, financial differences. I feel like, you know, there will be a lot of uh, issue coming in, block coming in and this connection between the two of you. So I feel like, you know, either you guys need to open up, talk about things and then sort things out. Or if not, then... Uh, it's, it's more like, you know, you will not be readily giving into this connection otherwise. I feel like, you know, you will have your, you know, mind kind of, you know, telling you, no, don't move uh, forward with this person. Keep your connection this much. Like, you know, you will have your guards up. They will have their guards up. You will be restricting yourself. They will be restricting themselves as well. So I feel like, you know, there, there are so many mental, physical and emotional blocks in this connection. Uh, but yes, you both uh, like each other, but then the blocks are blocking it. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. If you want, you can still work things out. Miracles do happen. If you want this connection to flourish, nourish, and grow, then there is a strong chance of you could, uh, you know, get it. But then, for that, you have to believe that something good can come out of it. And you have to first heal your mental blocks. Like, you know, even if there are religious differences or any other, you know, financial situation, which, which you feel like, you know, your family is not going to approve of, uh, maybe, you know, first you deal with it and then let God help you with the, creating some miracle around it. So yeah, this message should come up for you for this read. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.